Welcome back everyone. So we are going to begin this tutorial by working on the basket weave at the center back. Alright, so here is my center back. It's one piece and I transformed it into this piece by cutting it on fold. Alright, so it was this from our previous tutorial, the single piece and I transformed it into this on fold. Alright, now this is it. Now the extra space you see at the side is because I had added one and a half inches to it, which um, I realized later it was too much. You just need to add half inch allowance, all right, for joining, all right. So as you can see from our pattern, we have our waist at 16, all right, and then the allowance we had added bringing us to 18 inches, all right, so the allowance was 2 inches. So what we are going to do is we are going to separate the allowance from the center back for now, all right? Because we don't want the basket weave at the back to extend all the way to the bottom, all right? So for now, we are going to separate the two inches from this pattern paper. We'll be drafting the weave on, okay? So that is what you are seeing me do. So this is it for now we set aside the allowance all right put it aside for now this is the pattern piece for the basket weave and we are going to rule out exactly the way we want our weave to come out all right now my ruler is a one inch rule so the lines the distance in between is one inch all right So do the same thing you see me do. Now, I will advise that the allowance we left at the side, the half, half inch allowance, you denote it so that you don't, you don't create drama for yourself when the basket weave is done and you're joining the sides to, um, to it. Okay, so that is the mistake I made, which you, you can avoid. All right. Next is to determine the length of the straps. All right. So... Um, you have to ensure that you find you find the longest length horizontally and the longest length vertically, right? We are going to use this to cut the straps for our basket weave, right? So that is what you see me doing. So once that is done, once you determine um, the length vertically and the length horizontally, you measure, you count the number of straps you have to cut, right? So here we are. Here is for the short, the short length and that for the long length, which is the vertical. So this is for the horizontal um, length. Alright, so once you have it this way, you fold it like this, just as you see me doing. Now this is how I folded mine. If you have a different way of doing that, alright, such that the stitching will go on the inside, that is also okay, alright. Now, some people prefer to do the stitching directly on the on the pattern paper we'll be weaving the basket weave on. But I prefer to do it this way because I believe, in fact, I have tried it this way and it works better for me. All right, it saves me from ripping the paper out, which you don't want to do. Okay, so you'll be stitching it all the way there, stitching it from here all the way up. All right. Mm -hmm. So with that out of the way, you take it to your machine and then you do your stitching. Now you can do your stitching on both sides of the strap, all right, to secure it. Or you can do your stitching in the middle of the strap, all right. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I did mine on both sides. I ensured that both sides were stitched together tightly. But you can also do it the other way around. It all works, whatever works. Just ensure that your weave is secured 
right uh -huh. so that when you are ripping the, the the manila paper out you wouldn't be ripping out your basket weave so this was it when it was all done so once the basket weave is done we work on the rest of the jacket all right now i have added half inch um, joining allowance to the pattern with the exception of the sides the armhole the shoulder and the hemline all right these exceptions are so because we've already added one and a half um allowance to the sides and we've already added two inch allowance to the hem and the allowance at the hem will take care of that allowance at the shoulder all right which actually already is taken care of in the 16 inches we've already have all right so here is the basket weave and here i've attached the allowance to it i added allowance on these sides of the allowance itself okay uh -huh. all right so here is the sleeve all right the sleeve and the lining all right now there is a tutorial on how to cut this sleeve on my channel all right and i will also be leaving the link in the description box below all right so here is the back all right the back of the jacket all right so we are going to join the sides of the jacket to our basket weave all right now ensure that you join it before you try to rip out the brown paper all right so you join it like this then you stitch it down with the half inch allowance for joining we had added okay as you can see i attached interfacing to the lapel side of the front okay just the front not to the lining all right so attach the same to yours okay guys so here are all the pieces for the front just the front all right uh -huh. so what you're going to do is just as we had joined the sides to the basket weave you are going to join the lapel to its sides at the front all right and stitch it down with half an inch as you can see this side of um, my pattern came out with more curve than it, it really had to all right all right so be careful when you are adding your allowances because that will give you drama and you don't want that all right so after joining the sides all right to the lapel you notch it up all right to ensure that everything lays flat once you've ironed and then you top stitch all right so that it holds in place properly do the same for the both sides all right good so this is how it turned out all right after top stitching check it out i top stitched it twice all right so that it holds family in place so this is it and here is the back once it's ironed all right you also top stitch the back too okay once that is done you join the shoulders together the front and the back all right with um, um half inch allowance okay mm -hmm. So here is the collar all right ensure that you attach interfacing to either the fabric itself or the lining all right all right guys so over here we are going to be working on the lining so the pieces i'm going to be joining next are all for the lining front and then the back here is the back lining all right the center back i decided to use a body net all right just so that it will make the basket weave um visible all right guys so once you've joined the lining the same way as we had done for the the front it is time to fix the collar so you put your lining like this and then you snip the center 
all right and then you do the same for the color you snip the center and then you, you attach it to the neckline okay just as you see me do now attach it all the way to that point where the collar starts to curve all right uh -huh. you'll be leaving the rest unattached for now just as you see me do now the side i'll be leaving is about two and a half inches so i'll do the same for the other end all right as i attach it stitch it with half an inch all right so guys after stitching the collar to the front and to the back you will face them together into each other and then you are going to top stitch it forgive me i i, I lost that part of the video but after the collars were were attached you will wear the lining into the fabric okay uh -huh. now over here i have flipped it and top stitched this these sides okay and this side so that it holds together with the back all right and there is no entry okay i've also stitched this and um, the lapel all right all the I've, I've stitched the sides all the way to the lapel okay now we are going to work on the sleeve so pull out your sleeve pull it out through through the hem through the hem all right which we left and soon for now okay so pull it out just as you see me do all right uh -huh. like so she pull it out now what you're going to do is we are going to face our lining to the front and then we are going to stitch it up right now i don't have um any better way of describing this than to tell you to watch all right once you are watching you will understand everything you're supposed to do so i'm going to keep quiet for now and let you watch what i'm doing ensure that it aligns all right as you are facing it it aligns So once that is done you stitch it all around okay and then you do the same for the other side 
two. So this is what we have. Pull out your pins, just as you see me do. And then you are going to take it back out. If you've done this correctly, your arm will pull out of the channel. All right. Now, if your arm doesn't pull out from the channel, it means you've done this wrongly. And as long as you are following this tutorial, doing it exactly as you saw me do, there is no way you won't have your arms come out. All right. Good. So at this point, it was time to fix the other side. Now you do that the same way you did this, all right? So once that is done, you have something looking like this, all right? So From here on out, you just iron out your piece. So here we are. As you can see, I have top stitched it, top stitched the lapel, all right, and the collar. This is what we have. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to trim out the sides that came out unaligned, all right, yes, so that the hem is evened out so here we are guys here we are what is left is to neaten or to overlock these sides all right and then you hem it in like this and then you you will stitch it up or after overlocking you can just decide to use your hem and stay for your hem and gum all right guys so here we are this is it so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and see you in my next video